Hi, I'm Debbie with D. Cohn Designs. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I bring you my creative adventures in quilting and crafts and DIY adventures. I want to inspire and encourage you to have your own creative adventures too. Today's creative adventure is all about using acrylic paint on glassware. In this video, I will show you simple and easy tips to get the product that you want and get the best results. I'll give you the supplies that you need, the steps you need to do for painting. I'll even show you several different designs on how to paint on your glassware and give you the information about how to cure your glassware so it will withstand washing in the top rack of the dishwasher. So join me and let's get started. Get started. First, a disclaimer. Please do not paint your glass within one inch of the lip of the glass on the outside and please don't use acrylic paint on the inside of the glass. This is only meant for decorative purposes, not for eating and drinking. Okay, so what are the supplies that you need? First, you'll need some sort of glassware. I'm using a glass that I got at the dollar store. You'll need some uh, rubbing alcohol to clean the glass to make sure it's extra clean. You'll need paper towels, painter's tape, a paper plate, a small foam brush, and last but not least, you're going to need multi-surface acrylic paint, or you can use paint that's made explicitly for glass. In this case, I'm using a full guard multi-purpose, multi-surface paint in copper. Let's prep the glass. First, we're going to wipe off the glass with the rubbing alcohol to remove any extra oil and residue. I pay careful attention to the area where I know that I will be placing the paint and the painter's tape. Then I'll let that dry for just a moment. The next step is to tape off the design on my glassware. In this case, I'm going to mask off an area so that I will have a horizontal stripe around the glass. Once you're happy with your design, then run your nail or another object such as a pop of sickle stick around the edge of the tape so that it will stick securely to the glass. This will help prevent the paint from seeping underneath the edge of the tape. Okay. Once your glass is prepped, you're ready to paint. The next step is to go ahead and paint the glass. I'm going to squeeze out a small amount of the paint and put on one thin coat. You'll notice that the paint does not show up very opaque. It actually shows quite thinly through the glass. We will end up doing four coats to get the desired effect. I'm also going to paint the bottom because that's the effect that I'm going for.
try to get a relatively even layer around the entire glass. Then set it aside to dry for at least 30 minutes. Okay, this is after the second coat. You can see that it's a little bit more covered and I'll let it dry another 30 minutes. So this is after three coats. Okay, this is after four coats of the acrylic multi-surface paint. It's time for the big reveal. We peel away the tape. Nice crisp edge on the top. Next round of tape right here. Try not to ding the layer of paint like I just did. Remove the tape carefully. Pour a crisp line. See it turned out pretty well. The last step is to cure it. Okay, so now Okay, so now you have two choices when you cure the paint. You can either let it air dry for 21 days. If you do this, you will not be able to put it in your dishwasher. You will need to wash your glassware by hand. The second choice is to bake it in an oven. We will do that next. That is my choice because I want to be able to wash the glassware in the top of the dishwasher if necessary. Okay, to cure your paint in the oven, the first thing you want to do is let your glass sit for 24 hours, air dry for 24 hours before you move on to baking in the oven to cure it. Once it's been air dried for 24 hours, you'll want to put it in a cold oven, cold oven first, set it on a tray, put it in a cold oven, and then turn on the oven to 350 degrees. Once the oven heats up to 350 degrees, it's done preheating, then you turn on your timer for 30 minutes. Let the glassware bake for 30 minutes. At the end of 30 minutes, turn off the oven and allow the glassware to cool completely before removing it from the oven. Once it's cooled completely, then you need to wait 72 hours before you wash it in the dishwasher. Okay, in addition to the band, striped one that I did, I have a couple of other examples. Here is a free form one that I did just using the brush with no painter's tape. And then I also did one with polka dots. I just used the tip of a pencil eraser dipped in the paint. And for this, I just did two coats cute little blue polka dots. Okay, here they are. I've removed them from the oven after letting them cool completely. As you can see, the polka dotted one is very cute. There's no change in color. The freehand brush stroke ones, also no change in color. And the banded one, no change in color. Looks awesome. Please make sure you wait at least 72 hours before you attempt to wash them in the top rack of your dishwasher. This will give you the best results in ensuring that the paint adheres to your glass. I hope you enjoyed today's creative adventure. Stay tuned a little bit longer. I have a couple of close-up shots of the candle holders all lit up. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please visit my blog for more tips and tricks and creative adventures. Thank you for stopping by. I'll see you next time.